Oh my gosh, I am back on the Lotus SMP. I am lagging as I'm loading in, but I'm back. Hello everybody, my name is Buzzy Combs and welcome to another episode on the Lotus SMP. It's been a while since I've posted a video on here and I literally have not touched the server since I did my Hall of Resolutions video. And so, because I'm getting back into the swing of things today, I think this episode is going to be dedicated primarily to doing a lot of little errands that I need to catch up on. So the first thing I would like to do is take note of something I forgot to do with the Hall of Resolutions last episode, and that is in... Uh, um, losing all my diamonds. So everybody gets a prize for beating the resolution, but that prize is going to be a diamond block. And there are 24 people on the server if you include me. And um, yeah, right there is my diamond and I have 23 blocks of diamonds. So this is very unfortunate, but I am going to have to get rid of my diamonds. And since it's been so long since I've last been on the server, I'm also going to take a dive into my little underground chamber thing and see what resolutions have been added. Here it is. Let's go on ahead and take a look. So I've got four more resolutions added to this pile, but one of them is anonymous. So I don't know who this is, but I'll still make a little slot for them. And I'm going to take all of these. I got to drop all these shulker boxes for now, I think, because the intention is to take them back to my base. But because my inventory is so full right now and I have stuff to do right here, I'm going to plop them back down on the ground and then pick them back up once I'm done with this lovely little task. Now, what I do is I name all of these lovely things with the resolutions. So Skipper wants to finish a base and gangs with the salmon. That is fantastic. <laughs> and what I'm going to do is I'm not going to give it his name because I already know who it is that is going to go onto the sign inside of the building. Next up is read 30 books for Melody and then finish a base for Chespy. And then lastly is the anonymous person to get 1000 subscribers by the end of the year. And now with all of these, I'm going to plop them down onto the lovely wall of resolutions and then I will label them accordingly. All right, so I have gotten down the resolutions that have been set up so far. And now what I'm going to do so I have all of the diamonds prepped for the future resolutions is find my little hole again and just leave them in this basement because unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to keep any of these diamonds. Like this is all that is going to be needed for this hall of resolutions, which I'm now poor. Wow, that is a very close zoom. But I now only have five diamonds to my name, which is devastating because it means that I'm not going to be able to buy from shops. I'm going to have to start gathering supplies completely on my own. So that is definitely going to have to change, which brings us on to our next mission for today. So the next thing I would like to tackle in today's episode is handling my shop. Now, apparently dark oak is in very high demand and I definitely do not have enough to meet with these demands, but I definitely do have enough diamonds now to be more than comfortable with my situation, but that is not the point. So what I need to do is to actually get enough stock to completely fill up these barrels right here, as well as have a bit of back stock. So my mission is to go off to a roofed forest and collect as much dark oak as I possibly can. That way I am stocked for a good while and I don't have to worry about my shop other than restocking it. So while I would like to do it here, it is overall more efficient to do so in an actual dark forest. So so I will hold this off and instead actually find a forest and take care of that right now. So without further ado, I guess we'll have to see you all in a wood gathering montage. Oh, the panda. Is this like a direct? Ooh, this is all ocean. Okay. <gasps> a parrot. <gasps> Is that a cave? That's probably a cave over there. Oh, I really want to take this panda, but I can't. I must resist. Okay, maybe in the future I can take some pandas with me. But right now, Dark Oak is my focus. But oh my gosh, look at him. He's so comfy and cozy and all the bamboo. Anyways, into the time lapse I go. And no further distractions, hopefully. Oh my gosh, wait, this is such a cute little pond. Oh, wow. I didn't know that something could spawn like this naturally. How far does it go? Oh my gosh, wait, there's so many tropical fish. Does this mean that there is a lush cave down here somewhere? Because if there's tropical fish, this means this is a... It does! Oh my gosh, wait. Wait a second, hold on. I gotta go up for air real quick. 
But I'm gonna go dig through that and see what it looks like. <laughs> I know I shouldn't be getting distracted, but I just cannot resist the temptations. Come on. Oh, oh, oh! Oh! Oh my, hi! Um, I don't have a shield, but it's okay. I'm mostly fine. This is a really cool cave, though. Oh my gosh, wait, there's a mine shaft! <gasps> Oh, hello! I really do wish I had a shield with me. Ah! Oh, no! Hey, stop it. Stop it! Okay, I'm fine. Oh, look at that little pond right there, too. Oh, this is so cool! Oh, wow, this is not a little pond. This is a big one. Oh, wow. This is incredible. I want to see if there's anything useful in that mine shaft. I see some cave spiders. Oh, hello. Let's go take a peek. Oh, creeper. Hello. No. Oh, wow. There's a lot of creepers. <gasps> so many axolotls. Oh, bye, Elytra. Please stop using yourself. Uh. Ow. Okay, I'm just... Oh, wait. There's a... Huh. What? This is insane. Look at that. Oh, wow. This is really cool. This giant lake just drops into a cave with a mine shaft at that. That is just... That's so cool. Are there any chests I can just quickly loot before I go on to continuing my montage that I should be focusing on? But I'm not because I'm being very silly. Chest. Hello. This definitely is not... Oh no, that fish. He's gonna start flopping. Oh gosh, I'm gonna save him. You're okay, little guy. Yoink. Okay, I guess you're mine now. So, oh, I'm going out. Oh, that's so cool. Man. Oh, what? That's mutton. A sheep died. That is... okay. Um, enough with that. Uh, I'm gonna get back to the time lapse. I am so sorry for getting sidetracked so quick. <gasps> oh my gosh, wait. That is so cool too. Oh, is this the same thing? I think this is the same one. Man, this is awesome. I'm done now, I promise. Uh, I'm actually finished with this now. Back to the time lapse. hearing music. now, I guess. I don't get it. I am greatly confused, uh, but okay. <laughs> thank you, Yogi. I think. Is, is this something I'm supposed to thank him about? Hold on. Um, let, me, let me put a Yogi head on my head. That sounds so goofy. Yep. Okay, well, I'm gonna keep wearing this for the remainder of this uh, wood gathering mission. So, I hope you enjoy Blue Yogi. Blue Yogi with purple hat. Is that, I mean, I guess that's really magenta. It's like not quite purple it's more pink so yeah en enjoy the weird yogi i don't get this i'm so confused <laughs> I mean, Elytra's.
mushroom <laughs> oh that's crazy i can't <laughs> have you guys ever seen a mushroom this tall before because i sure haven't i forgot i had a yogi head that was too close for comfort <laughs> after many deaths and near-death experiences as well as a full night of sleep, I am finally full on Dark Oak. And this poor forest has faced the consequences of my actions. But it is now time for me to head back. And also, I will finally take off Yogi's head. Because I'm pretty sure most of my deaths came from wearing it. Because I don't have a full suit of armor. Also, the fact that I have an Elytra, that probably didn't help at all either. But I was saved many times by my plethora of Elytras in my base. Which, I don't know if I ever revealed this on camera. But I learned that apparently those were from Jax. Which, honestly, that is very in character for him. So, honestly, it makes a lot of sense. But it is time for me to finally fully stock my shop. And I'm so happy for that. Because this was a very, very long endeavor that took significantly longer than in Kiss all right so it is now time for the very satisfying moment of me dumping all of the stark oak into these chests and man this feels fantastic it is finally finally fully stocked which maybe hopefully i can make quite a few sales oh what don't what i thought that was gonna destroy my item frame but it didn't so i guess that doesn't work as i as I thought it worked. That, that's really weird. I don't know. Maybe I'm overthinking things. Okay, here's my helmet. I get to finally put it back on. Hallelujah. And there we go. The last dark oak log. Now my shop is completely stocked. And I have quite a few shulker boxes to spare. Before I continue on though. I'm going to just remove all the non-dark oak items from these. And try to get this sorted. Okay, so this is all dark oak in here. Dump that in there. And then I'll empty out all the rest of these shulker boxes. Because my next task of today is to actually sort my chest system. At the moment, it is a nightmare. As you can see from this monstrosity, I have like a bunch of firework supplies, uh, random stuff in here, random stuff there, and my chests, they're starting to kind of spill out into each other. And while I definitely can't handle that completely this episode, I at least want to get it a little bit covered. And maybe next episode, I can actually work on a brand new storage unit. So for now, I'm going to quickly go through and sort the things that need to be sorted. And then I'll get back with you guys once I am finished with that. Alrighty, so I am finally finished sorting my chests. I went through and found a bunch of the old shulker boxes that I have received from gifts. I emptied them out, deposited them in their appropriate areas, and I also made some shulker boxes for extra organization purposes because chests like this wooden one don't have enough room for all of my materials. Now that I'm done with that, however, I do have a little thing I'd like to do. I would like to get this bee armor that Pug got me a while back and make an armor stand for it. If I can remember how to make one, that is. Let's see, armor stand. Ah, I need a smooth stone slab. So I dump these stone slabs back in here. I take a single piece of stone and then I smoke it down here. And now that it's done, I take it, I find my stone cutter right here. I'll make it into a slab. Ooh, it gives me two slabs. That's handy. And then I'll do a little something like this. Bam! Here we go. We've got an armor stand. And I think a nice little spot for it could actually be right here in this little entry corner because it's a little bit empty right there. And it just fits very, very nicely, I think. So here is my B armor. And I'd also like to say that not only did I organize the chests upstairs, but I also got rid of all the chests laying around my area. So the ones over here, the couple of things under the tree, and then the massive chest over here as well as all the unnecessary items in here have all been taken care of accordingly. So this leaves us with our next task for today which is removing this Christmas tree because we are long past the Christmas season and I really need to get rid of that. So without further ado I guess it's time for a time lapse. And 
And now that the tree has been taken down, there is one thing I would very much like to address from the last episode. And that is, I completely forgot to reveal the gingerbread house results. Based on the feedback all of you guys gave in voting on the lovely poll that me and Chesby had arranged, it looks like we actually came in a tie. So... Uh, wh what should we do here? Because we're supposed to have a clear winner, but both of our gingerbread houses are apparently good enough for you guys to, uh, you know, all have a, a mutual understanding that they're both equally as good, which I appreciate very much because I really thought I was going to lose. But with that out of the way, I would like to move on to the last thing of today. And it is actually a bit of footage from episode 18 that I was not able to keep in the video due to it being far too long and also not really fitting with the atmosphere I was going for. So without further ado, I guess we'll dive into a little bit where I am a little wee bit obsessed with heads. Oh, one green trader! Hello! You got some cute little things. <gasps> Flowering azalea leaves, sniffer eggs. Oh my gosh. Um, before I start the video, I am buying from this because holy cow, do I want this stuff. So first, let me see. Do I have any? I have a single emerald. What I need to do is I need to get an emerald. Can I like make a fletcher real quick? How do I make a fletching cable? Fletching table. I need some flint and I need some wood. Coolio, that's easy enough to do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Why not get two of them? And then gravel. Do I not have flint? Uh, one, two, three, four. There we go. Now I've got me my flint. Coolio, I've got two flexion cables. And I'm going to run over to the village over here. Um, are there any villagers who are still alive? However, I generally think there's only one villager left. Oh, no, no, no. I, I trapped them right here, didn't I? You know what? I'm just going to go to a random village. These villagers might be useful later on. So I'm not going to... Wow, he dropped half his armor. Huh. Oh. Hello, kind people. You look very handy dandy today. Yes, you... Okay, I, I need... Aha. Uh -huh. This is the chosen one. He is coming to trade with me. Hello. Oh, oh, we've got both of them. Both of the chosen ones. Hey, don't run away. <gasps> I think I might need more sticks. Oh, no. That's okay. I have plenty of wood. You. Eight. I think eight should be. No, 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 no. Eight's not enough, actually. Okay, I'm going to be greedy. I will trade with you again. Yes, I shall. Um, do I have any more wood in my shulker box? I don't. But we have wood right there. So, I will be right back with you in just a moment, sir. Uh, please and thank you. Hello. Oh, thank you so much. I'm going to get more wood and I'm going to trade with you more because I don't know how much I'm going to buy from that guy, but I want to buy from him. Got a little bit more wood. Did you follow? You followed me. Oh, hello. I'm so happy you decided to follow me. You're just making my life so much easier, my friend. Thank you. And to get you some more wood right now, I'll be with you in just a moment, sir. Isn't it so nice that this desert is, like, so full of trees? It's just making my life 10 million kajillion times easier than it would have been. So I've got another stack of sticks. And my wonderful kind, sir, I think is still over here. Sir? Actually, wait, what is the trade that the other guy has? What if he's cheaper? Watch him actually be cheaper. That would be so funny. No, it's still 32. But this right here, this hideous leafless tree... I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna take it down. We don't want this. It's a... Wow. Wow. Somebody went down there. Okay. Uh... Logs. Sticks. You know, I can't find my beautiful star trader. So you, kind sir, you will be my new, uh, friend. I think 17 should be enough. Yeah, I think 17 is enough. I'm gonna fly back now. So my home is all this way. Man, this is like... The most leaf-covered desert I think I have ever seen. Oh, well, that village is pretty close to me. It's like just out of rented distance. And where is my lovely trader? Oh, he's still here. Ah, uh, thank goodness. I'm going to sleep. And then I am going to trade with this wonderful fella. Hello, hello, hello. Where are you? Where'd you go? He's over here. Hello! I would like some of this. Oh, I need the... Oh... That's a problem. 
I don't have these items. But I do have azalea leaves. That is certainly a trade I can do. Alright, I'm going to do that trade because... Yes, please, azalea leaves. Woo. So, azalea leaves. Oh, you can only trade with them once. Okay. Um, I feel like maybe redstone blocks, maybe nether bricks, basalt, and spruce. I just got rid of all my spruce. Oh, I'm a fool. Tough is also really... Why is all this... Okay, so I think I have half of this in here. Okay, I'll get snow. I'll get some dirt. Guys, I'm making bad financial decisions. But it is... Oh, Merry Christmas. Okay, don't look in there. Don't look in there. I'm making very bad decisions, financially speaking. But to me, it is worth it. I must do this. Oh, gosh. Do I have sandstone in one of these chests? I do not. Time to fly up to my attic. Sandstone! Hello? Oh, no. Sandstone, redstone block, netherrack. The nether, I should have netherrack. I think it was basalt, I think. And then sandstone. Sandstone is in here. And then redstone. Here, one single block of redstone coming right up. I forget. Oh, oh, oh. I also need a piece of spruce. Perfect. Am I lovely wandering trader pal? Where have you gone? You're still in my farm, right? You are. Oh, no, he's not. He's over here. I I forgot the tough. That is okay. Red nether brick? How do I make red nether brick? Do I need red dye? No, I think I think what I need is some uh is the uh the red brewing plants. Nether wart. That's what it's called. Nether wart. I think I need a piece of nether wart. Do I not have nether? Thorn. I grabbed another word from another. I'm so certain I have another word. What happened to it? I don't have another word. Oh, no, I do. I'm silly. Red nether bricks. Okay, so I need. Oh, that's easy. That is so easy. I need one, two, and a one, two. And now, one, two, and a one, two. There we go. I've got my red nether brick. And you, a beautiful, a marvelous traitor, sir. You're over here still. Please stop wandering. I know it's in your name. But I need you right now. And I forgot the tough. Of course, I forgot the tough. All those sniffer eggs are so cute. I am so getting one. So now I just need a little bit of tough. And then I'm going to go and see if somebody's selling sniffer eggs. Because these heads will be so handy in the future. I am telling you right now. I'm just going to dump these all in the chest. Just so I have them. I need my tough. A single one piece of tough. Oh no. Am I out of tough? I, no, no. I have tough downstairs. I'm sure of it. I have tough, uh, because I used it over here. I betcha I left it in one of these chests. I did. You see, I remember things sometimes. Ooh, I wonder, uh, have I made any sales? No sales here, no sales. No sales, okay. No sales whatsoever. Where's my villager? Villager, hello. Did he? I think my wandering buddy went into the nether. Let's see. There's no way he didn't. Yes, he did. Hello. Give me your tough. Thank you. And now to fly to the Sky Mall and see if there is still some lovely sniffer eggs up for sale. And I'm not going to be getting a sniffer egg, it seems. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, well. So I've uh, I finished that mission of getting a bunch of random unnecessary heads because I saw them and they're really cute. And now it is time for me to actually continue with what I was going to be doing today, which is starting the video. And thus concludes the head collecting extravaganza from a few episodes ago, as well as today's episode itself. So, if you guys did enjoy, if you guys did enjoy the return of the Lotus SMP, be sure to let me know by leaving a like and subscribe, comment your feedback, let me know what your favorite moment of today's video was, and I guess I will see you all in the next video. Bye bye.